Hi, so far in this playlist, we have discussed how to create a matrix, how to traverse through all the elements of a matrix. Now we're going to talk about how to traverse through the diagonal elements of the matrix. We're going to talk about the main diagonal and the non-main diagonal or the primary diagonal and the secondary diagonal. Along with that, I'll give you a question similar to the questions that we'll discuss in this video. Apart from that, I'll share the notes that we are developing in this video. So let me share my screen and let's discuss the diagonal traversal of a matrix. So the question says that you have to diagonally traverse through all the elements of a matrix. Over here, the matrix is n cross n. For example, if n is equal to 4, this is the matrix that would be given to you. This would be the 4 cross 4 matrix that would be given to you. The row indices would start from 0, 1, 2, and 3. The column indices would start from 0, 1, 2, and 3. You have to print all the main diagonal elements. That means I have to print all the elements that have been marked by yellow. So we will write the coordinates, the row and column values of all these yellow marked elements, the main diagonal elements. So this is situated at 0, 0. This is situated at 1, 1. This element is situated at 2, 2. This element would be situated at 3, 3. So we can say that when row value becomes equal to column value, when the row becomes equal to column, that is the main diagonal element. And we have to print that main diagonal element. So one way to print the main diagonal would be to traverse through all the elements of the matrix and print only those elements where row becomes equal to column. So I would say i is 0, i is less than n, i plus plus. For each and every row, you'll traverse through all the columns that are there. J equal to zero. J is also less than N. J plus plus because it's a N cross N matrix. Then whenever I value becomes equal to J, at that point of time, we are going to print the element. We are going to say print A of IJ. Now the problem with this approach is that we are still going through all the array indices. We are going through all the 2D array elements that are there. So the time complexity is still order of n square. Although we just have to go through only n elements over here, still we are going through all the elements that are there in the 2D array. So to solve this, what we are going to do is we are going to directly print all these elements that are there. So we are going to print 0, 0, then 1, 1, then 2, 2, then 3, 3, so on and so forth up till n minus 1, n minus 1. So to begin with, I'll say i is equal to 0, j is equal to 0, while i is less than n and j is less than n up till that point, keep on moving, keep on printing the elements and keep on moving forward. So over here inside this loop, the first thing that I'm going to do is I am going to print A of IJ. And then I will say, go to I++ and J++. Together, you have to increment the value of I and increment the value of J. This way, you will be able to print all the elements that needs to be printed in main diagonal and you are directly printing them. So time complexity over here would be order of N. As you are printing only one element through each and every row. Over here, this in this row, you are printing 0, 0. In this row, you are printing the element at 1, 1. Over here, you are printing only one element situated at 2, 2. And over here, you are printing only one element situated at 3, 3. So in total, the total number of iterations would be n because you are printing one element from each and every row. And row starts from 0 and they go all the way up till n minus 1. So this is how the main diagonal elements have to be printed. There is another diagonal that needs to be printed. So in another question, I can say that print the non main diagonal elements. What is the non main diagonal? 
So this is another diagonal that goes through the square matrix that goes through the n cross n matrix. Let me mark it with the help of green color. So this is the non-main diagonal matrix. And we have to print all the elements of this non-main diagonal matrix. So let's try to see where the non-main diagonal starts and where it ends on. So to begin with, we will see that it starts at 0, 3, at row value equal to 0, at column value equal to 3. Or we can also say that it starts at 0, uh, comma n minus 1. And the next element is 1, comma 2. It is situated at 1, comma 2. The next element is situated at 2, comma 1. The next element is situated at 3, comma 0. So over here, what we can say is that every time you are incrementing the value of i and you are decrementing the value of j. And you are doing that up till i is less than n and j is greater than or equal to 0. Because j is getting decremented and it will keep on going up till the value of 0 and i is incrementing, it will keep on going up till the value of n minus 1. So over here, what we can say is that we are going to start our i value from 0 and we are going to start our j value from n minus 1. The printing of j would start from n minus 1. And up till what point we will keep on printing? We will keep on printing up till i is less than n and j is greater than or equal to 0. Inside, the first thing that we have to do is we are going to print the element situated at i comma j and then we are going to increment the value of i or the row and we are going to decrement the value of column or j. This is how we are going to traverse the non-main diagonal. The non-main diagonal over here is traversing and is printing only one element through each row. So this also would have a time complexity of big O of n. And along with that, since we are not taking any extra array over here to print or to traverse to the non-main diagonal, so over here, the space complexity is going to be big of 1. So this is how you have to traverse through the non-main diagonal. Now, on the basis of the concepts that we have discussed in this video, I would say that let's come up with a question. And the question would be that you have to traverse to the non-main diagonal, but this time it would be a rectangular matrix. So if you have a rectangular matrix, so let me create a rectangular matrix for you. So if you have a rectangular matrix, then you have to go and you have to print all the elements of non-main diagonal. So let me come up with a simple case over here. So let's suppose you have a matrix, which is three comma five. It has three rows and it has five, columns inside it. So, of course, the first element that needs to be printed would be this element. The next element that would be printed would be this element. The next element that would be printed would be this element. So, in this question, you would definitely be starting from 0, comma m minus 1 because the matrix that is given to you is of n cross m. And the next element that you are going to print would be 1, comma m minus 2. Right. So over here, what we have to do is we have to go from 0 comma m minus 1 to 1 comma m minus 2. And then we are going to go to 2 comma m minus 2. So this is going to be m minus 3. So this needs to be a uh, start from m minus 1. It will go to m minus 2 and it will go to m minus 3. So you need to find the pattern uh, over here and you need to find where you need to stop the printing and you would be able to solve this question. The traversal is very similar to the questions that we have done earlier. So I hope you would be able to solve this question and I hope you would be able to convert this to code in your favorite programming language. Thank you.